Scythe. A humble, biometallic being from the lost realm of Talacross. Hoping to avoid any more encounters with an old enemy, Scythe took refuge on the peaceful realm of Calria. He oversaw and helped build his new home into a proud, expansive settlement. He always strives to do the right thing, even if it may not yield the best results. Pow Pow Born with electrical powers and super speed, Pow Pow is an energetic little ball of fluff who resembles a mix between a Raichu and a Mobian. Stricken with retrograde amnesia, Calria is the only home young Pow Pow has truly known, yet she hopes someday to find out where she really came from. Rush Designated KV-686 on his home realm of Kaviso, Rush is a special kind of android, called a Metasynth, who was accidentally manufactured with two personality modules. A peaceful architect, Blue Mode, and an aggressive fighter, Red Mode. He has to take special care not to let these two personalities fight over control of his shell, lest they fuse together and become something much worse. Core a shape-shifting and technological specialist, Kor uses a strange device called the Assimilation Transformation Lifeform Altering System, or ATLAS, which allows him to transform into different mobs. J. Another former inhabitant of Kaviso, Jay often keeps to himself regarding his past and the war he helped wage on his realm, but he is a great inventor who has helped Kor build many of the more advanced systems in the Avastera safehouse. Bones Bones was once a renowned war medic, and the unfortunate victim of an unsightly experiment that took place on his home realm of Zephyr, deep in the outer skies of the multiverse. After being killed, revived, and nearly killed again, Jay found him by chance, discarded and alone, on one of his stops on his long pilgrimage away from Kaviso. Bones was given a second chance on Avastera as a medic, thaumaturge, and weapons expert. Deudross. The cocky contract assassin, respected by many, feared by many more. Deudross doesn't necessarily care whose side he takes, as long as he gets paid. He's prideful and abrasive, but a master of his art. One way or another, he always collects his bounty. So unless you're a living shadow entity that lives beyond what is beyond, if you send this lone assassin on a mission, you better hope you can afford it. 